hi this is Vinay from V Competency Tech and we'll see that how we can uh, debug uh, any web API web API application so right now I have one application here uh, which is having employee controller and employee model class so this is one class which which has imp ID and which is key imp name imp code band age salary is married and this is connecting to <coughs> database and table name employee and we have employee controller and this is <coughs> the web methods so we have first one is this one get employee then put employee and we have a post employee okay and there should be delete delete employee okay so we have this web methods and this is a uh, dot net core web api application okay so now we'll see how we can debug it so first i will run it we have option start debugging and second without debugging okay so right now i can start debugging it is getting loaded now data came so I will copy this URL and I will go to here which is postman okay in a postman already I have this URL so let's say the um, if I don't give any parameter means if I see the uh, web method it will hit here okay get employee so let's see how I'm go I'm, uh, I have put the debug point here okay what I did I run the application in a debug mode I have opened the post main I have put the URL here okay I will click the send see now from postman to uh, dot net core id i came here and this is a uh, core web api, web api application and see i have come to the debug mode okay so this is how i'm able to debug it okay now I'll come here okay. so this is the data coming we can see see this is first record second record like that we have this many records okay so I'll coming here okay now go then again I will press the F11 and I came here okay so let's see what is the response here okay. so all data is coming here if you see all data we have okay so we are able to debug the application from postman to 
our dot net id okay let me take any id like 2281 here okay send it so see this record is coming right so let's uh, debug this so i am passing one parameter one uh, ide so it will hit this method okay so let me try again send see now this is coming when i am passing one id slash id so now this method is not getting executed because this is not having any id when i and when i give slash id in a url then it will recognize that in a controller this method will get executed okay so id is coming here let me do f11 okay and here we can see what it is returning okay so it is returning this one record okay again f11 we have come here now this is the data coming okay so get employee sorry get employee we debug with id we debug okay now get part i'm able to debug let me try um post post means we are going to insert data so let me insert some data here let me copy this data and came to body i will click post Jason Okay So data came here So I am giving in a body area because it, it, this data is going as a object okay in a json format So it is going to body by default So this is new entry to i can give zero and here i can give some data like kumar s <coughs> this imply code i can give one one two three okay see okay so here this i will give you okay so this is how data have given in a json format so we can click here beautify now it is fine now this data i am going to insert so i will go and put the debug point in a post area put we have post here so let me click here okay and i will do send so what i'm saying uh, this is not required so when i give this url okay after that i will give this data in a body so the employee controller will hit the post employee because here i selected post and one object json object data is going here 
so it will receive here so the controller will decide that this method will get executed okay now I will click send so this is coming see what is coming here see this is the data I am sending so which is coming here okay right now it is zero so <coughs> I'll click F11 okay now the new ID is coming newly created ID is coming and this okay so get imply create action get imply so that action will call with where id is this one okay so now that data will come here f11 okay the same newly created data come in a response see we have inserted this now this is that got inserted like this okay and we got the response 201 created okay similarly we can debug the other functions others web methods like delete and this okay so I will try delete so delete how I will try I will click here delete and let's say I'm going to delete the same this ID so I will pass here okay then I will put uh, debug point here okay now delete and this okay now send see so debug point came here so which record I am going to delete right this one that data found okay and 200 ok status means it is deleted ok again I will try to search it search get the same ID it will not go see the same ID I am going to search not found ok 404 not found so this is how we can debug the debug any um, web application that is developed in a .NET core web sorry web API developed in a .NET core okay so you can just open and uh, this video and learn and if you like this video please subscribe my channel we competency tech and please don't forget to click on bell icon. Thank you.